talk, stop moving around, and reach for stuff. Now, as the gentleman said earlier, our training, okay, because we're police officers, just like teachers, firefighters, everybody else, military, we get trained. And we get trained to look out for certain keys, okay? I pull up on this young man, I don't know who he is. Alright? I have no idea whether he just robbed the bank or he's just coming home from a night class in college. I don't know that. Okay? But when I stop this vehicle, and if he's moving around a lot, I just got called out from the countryside. And he's moving around a lot, that's going to set off a key to me. I'm going to say, alright, what is he moving for? Because we all know there's three things an officer wants to see when he conducts a traffic stop. If I come to that car, the first thing I'm going to do is say, hey, my name is Officer Small. I don't stop you because you were speeding. I'm going to drive you left the center. And I'm going to say, I need to see your driving license, registration, and proof of insurance. So, how we stop those moving around, have those things readily available. When you get in your car, and I know sometimes it happens to me before, before I pay for myself, I'm driving my mom's car, couldn't find registration, nothing like that, stop. Bam! Okay? Mm -hmm. I was I was brought to be dead scared of the police. Not because they were doing anything wrong to me, but because that's just how much I respect them. Okay, so three things you know you're gonna need to have. Drive a license, you need the shirt, and your registration. So have those things readily available so we don't have to move around and do all those twists and turns, okay? That's one thing. Another thing we talk about when the officer approaches your car, your attitude. Don't have a bad attitude because you, you know what I'm telling you. I have stopped plenty of people in my times, okay. and every ticket I issue, I promise you that person had a poor attitude. I promise you. that person had a horrible attitude. And I said, you know what? You get it. Right, you want to be nasty to me? Well, you take the picture. You have a good day. See, I'm gonna kill you and have a good day. I hope you like, like I said, I can get out there. You can go home. I can get home to the city. Poor attitude, okay? Another thing you can do, if he's driving and I stop him, it's late at night, for some reason, a lot of us like to have ten windows, right? I've had ten windows. If you want to make the officer feel a little more secure in that stop, and you got them black out windows, we know that limo can is, but you can't see nothing in life. Why those windows down? Turn on your dome light. That will ease that officer. Okay, that's gonna bring my tension down. Cause it's out there late at night. We on these country roads with no lights, no street lights. Okay, it's dark. That's another thing you can do. There are all kinds of things you can do. We talk about right and wrong. If you're being stopped, it's all about your attitude and simple things. There's no right way to get pulled over by the police. I'm gonna be honest, cause you must have done something wrong to get pulled over. We're pulling you over because you violated the traffic rule. But there's things that you can do during the stop that will set the officer at ease, that will make your encounter with that officer painless. Real. It really can be. Painless.